What's up everyone, this is CyberNet8610, and today we're opening up something really special, and that is Yu-Gi-Oh! Heroclix. Yes, I've always thought Heroclix was kind of an interesting thing. Uh, I always see them, you know, at uh, different card shops and everything, and uh, yeah, they finally made some Yu-Gi-Oh! ones. We talked about them before, and uh, the rest of them, there's going to be like... Uh, like sort of like booster packs in a way of them where you get you know just random figures uh, around in February so I can't wait for that as well I've already know that there's like a sure priest has been announced to be one I think Karibo was announced and I believe there's a few others I can't remember them all off the top of my head but of course they have the starter set I believe it's for two players and uh, you have breaker magical warrior you have feral imp tatsumi giant death feral imp dark magician and of course blue eyes white dragon so yeah let's open this up uh, first, we're going to do an opening for this video, then we'll probably do like a review, and then I might even do like a how to play, because I'm going to learn how to play this game as well. <laughs> this is what made me interested into the game, of course. Alright, there's all that stuff. Let's go ahead and get the figures out first. I'm sure that's what most people want to see first. They look really nice, too. Alright, let's go ahead and get Blue Eyes White Dragon out first. As you can see, looks really nice, higher quality. Yeah, and they have, like, the points and stuff. I'm not really sure, like I said, on the points and everything. I know, like, I believe he's, like, a flying type or something. Supposedly that has something to do with the, in the game. Like, some can fly, some can't. Like I said, I don't know much about the game at the moment. I'm going to learn over the weekend. And, uh, like I said, then I'll do, like, a how-to video. We have Breaker, Magical Warrior, as you can see. There we go. Well, he keeps wanting to come off his stand. There we go. Looks really nice. Put him over there. All right, we also have, let's see, better look at Feral Imp. Seems kind of random, but I still like it. I remember Yugi using this one. So it's basically like three Yugi's monsters, three Akabas, if you haven't figured that out already. Well, Tatsumi Giant does not want to come out of the package. There we go. Try to be really careful to get him out of there. There you go. Looks really cool. I wasn't too sure if it was him for a second, so I was like, am I remembering the right name? Because it is an older Yu-Gi-Oh! monster. Which I, I like how they're doing this. I hope, though, in the future, maybe we'll see some GX figures and stuff, too. Well, let's go ahead and get Death Lamp. He's easier to get out. There we go. I believe Kaba, I think he used it in the movie? I don't remember. I know he used Death Lamp, but I don't remember what episode or anything. I think in the movie he did, for sure. But I'm not sure episode-wise. And then, let's see, let's get Dark Magician. Well, come on. He does not want to leave the plastic. And there we go. I fought the packaging and I won. <laughs> so there we go. Dark Magician looks really awesome, too. I gotta say, Blue Eyes White Dragon and Dark Magician are the coolest in here just because of the nostalgia factor. Breaker looks really cool, though, too, with that, like, gold trim. So, yeah, let's see what we have in the rest of this stuff. Well, let me move this out of the way so we have a little bit more room. There we go. Well... There we go. Evidently, I can't get tape off stuff. All right, here's like the game mat. It's gonna be hard to show the whole thing, but I'm gonna try to show as much as I can of it on camera. It's basically like a like a forest. So yeah, here's like your game board. You fold it all out. It's like big. <laughs> it's not gonna fit on this table that I use. Uh, but yeah, it's like essentially a forest. I don't know if there's anything on the back. On the back, it looks like like some kind of castle. Is that what it is? Thanks, the castle from Duel's Kingdom. Well, that's what it reminds me of, anyway. So, yeah, there's that. Put that over to the side. We'll get that unfolded when we show, like, a how-to video. Here's, I believe, this is a rule book. Yeah, here's, like, all the rules and everything. I'll have to read through all this. Looks pretty cool. I don't know if any of you out there already play Heroclix, and if you do, I wouldn't mind you <laughs> helping me out in how to play. All right, we have the regular dice. Six-sided dice. We have powers and abilities. So this, I guess, kind of goes over things. Like, I was talking about how some can fly, uh, you know, and some only walk, and, like, attack and defense and all that. So I guess that's kind of like a quick reference guide. Yeah, it looks like that. I know this will come in handy. Because <laughs> I, I know I won't be able to remember all the different moves, so that will definitely come in handy. Different scenario rules. I guess that makes it worth a little bit more like Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, we have life points and everything. Hmm, that's pretty cool. So it's kind of making it so a Yu-Gi-Oh! person can kind of learn, I guess, easier. That would definitely come in handy, too. These, I've heard, are like disaster zones. Like, on the map, uh, certain parts of the map can be destroyed. So you place these on it, I believe. 
Yeah, and there's like different things too, like smoke hindering specials and barriers for blocking paths and stuff. Looks pretty cool. It's cool how they give you so much stuff. Well, that almost fell out. These, I think, are like items you, your uh, monsters can actually throw. And also, I think they are used as tokens as well. So that's kind of cool. And last part we have is, I believe these are like the cards that go with it. Yeah. The different cards showing the abilities and stuff. Like Feral Imp, Hitatsumi Giant. So that one's backwards. There we go. Break of the Magical Warrior. Dark Magician, Death for Olymp, and of course, Blue Eyes White Dragon. So yeah, that is the opening of this. I think it's really cool. This is going to retail for uh, $25. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this opening. WizKids was kind of to send me this before it came out, and it is going to be released on January 8th of 2014. So that's not really too far away. What is that, only three, four weeks, something like that? So that's not too far away. I hope you guys will pick one of these up, and I think it'd be really cool. I'm glad to see Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, kind of branching out doing some more things. Kind of reminds me of, like, Dungeon Dice Monsters. So yeah, and uh, like I said, we'll have some, we'll have another video for a review. Have another one uh, figuring out how to play the game, you know, we'll do, like, uh, how to play. And then, uh, if I can, I'm going to see if we can do some uh, videos on, like, playing the game. And yeah, as always, thank you for watching. Make sure to come rate and subscribe, and I hope you guys will enjoy this video. Alright? Later, guys.